Shalom people, this is Brother Lyles coming at you with another video. And in 2 Timothy 3 and 8, uh, Paul or Shaul talks uh, briefly about two individuals called Janus and Jambres who withstood Moses during the time that Moses and Aaron were trying to free the Israelites out of the hands of the Egyptians. And it talks about them withstanding uh, Moses and Aaron with some satanic power that is, uh, excuse me, not Israel, but uh, Egypt had acquired through their communing with fallen angelic beings. The Bible talks about a power that Egypt had like no other nation outside of nation of Most High had. And really, the knowledge that they had was just passed down from Nimrod when Nimrod had built the Tower of Babel with the technology and knowledge of the fallen angels. Egypt carried that that knowledge with them into the land of Ham. And they were using that power to keep the people of Yah uh, enslaved. And so when Moses and Aaron did their miracles, the power of Janus and Jambres was able to withstand them for the first five miracles. Every miracle that they did, they replicated. They was able to. And so I'm looking at, uh, and this, this has always been throughout history, but I'm just talking in particular these last uh, I want to say 60 years and you look at the technological advances of mankind has been on an astronomical scale why? because of the knowledge that they glean from communing with satanic powers so much so that they felt a man feels can feels that they are gods themselves when mankind went to the moon in 1969 this is the book of over die when it said though man would make his nest in the the stars as an eagle the most high will pull him down Mankind has been going into uh, the micro world, the macro world. He's been sending satellites into deep space, uh, putting rovers, other craft on other planets to see if they could try to escape the, what they knew was the com coming judgment. And now they think they're at a, a point where they are like, God, especially when they quote unquote discovered the God uh, particle using that wicked uh, uh, contraption called CERN. And if you look at CERN out in front of it, it has the Hindu uh, God. I think it is. I, I used to think it was. Uh, uh, it, it, it's actually. It's, it's, um, is it Shiva? I always get mixed up because it's 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 uh it's doing the dance of death. So I'm not sure if it's Shiva or the other one because it's uh one is male and one is female. Kali, yeah, Kali, yeah, Kali is the the is the female. Shiva is the male. So it is Shiva, the male doing the cosmic dance of death 
with now Shiva, now uh, uh, Kali is is also can, has a dance of death, which I think that's what uh, when when uh, Beyonce did that one um, video where she was dancing, she was doing the the uh, the, the Kali dance of death, right? And so this lets you know that they are trying or, and have been in, engaging in uh, 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 warfare with the the powers of the Most High, the, uh, uh, the armies of heaven. You read about it in Revelations where it says it was war in heaven. So I, I see, I say this because I, I you, you see um, all these things they have been happening over definitely the last 2,000 years with the, the plagues that happened in Europe and the wars and all these things where you've seen hundreds of millions of people have died uh, in, a, in the last 2,000 years. It's, it's, just, it's, it's just, and it's got to this, this point in mankind where we can we can extinct the, this this planet within a few minutes that we have got to this place because I believe there has been war that have been going back and forth between the, the powers of darkness and the powers of light which is Yah so this is not nothing new this is not something that just started happening in the last decade it's been been happening it's been happening since time and memorial but it's really intensified because once again like during the time of the the flood Noah's time that m mankind has the power to destroy all humanity and the most high has not reserved him that right he doesn't have that right and so the most high has to save out of this group his his own people and the rest are going to be caught up in the melee but he has to save his people out of it and he does this through battling back and forth with the the evil one not that he can't just take satan out in one blow he could but um he he has his time and he has his way so i'm seeing that when you have certain diseases that are coming across the land you gotta wonder sometimes is it the most high or is it uh, Satan being allowed to do it? When you start seeing these earthquakes, and now we know that they do have the power to create earthquakes. They do have the power to, to re, reinvigorate volcanoes and things that have been dormant. They have this power. They have been, have, have been allowed to get this power. If you know anything about the, um, the, uh, the 72... Uh, uh, it's it's uh, it's some kind of uh thing up there in Alaska, but I think they got them more than just Alaska. It's the uh, it's like uh some kind of microwave uh technology that they can use to move clouds around. I forgot the name. Of it. I used to I used to read about it all the time, and I can't think of it right now but they can use it to create storms which they've been able to create storms going they were actually really before they came out with the technology they could use demonic technology they could use demonic incantations to bring rain but they was able to do it with technology i think really starting back in the the the, the 40s when they was doing uh cloud seeding with silver iodine and so they were able to do all that. They are able to create storms. The Most High, definitely, he brings the weather. He brings everything. But they're able to, they're able to do the, the same thing with their technology. So sometimes you wonder, is it the Most High or is it them? You look at this volcano that just went off in, um, in the Congo the other day. And you wonder, was this the Most High or was it uh, Satan that got all these people running for their lives? You look at all these earthquakes that's happening in China and you wonder, is it the most high or is it Satan? You look at all these pandemics and the variants and 
Some say it was nature, some say it was the lab, and you wonder, was it the most high, or was it Satan? But I think what we're gonna find as we get closer and closer, that just like with Janus and Jambres was able to withstand Moses and Aaron to a certain point, this is gonna get to a certain point that we're gonna know. We're gonna know that it is the most high, and it ain't gonna be no doubt in our mind about it. And so I'm just waiting for that day, a lot of people you know, are, you know, uh, not really caring about that, but I believe that we're gonna, we're gonna see the day that we're gonna, we're gonna be, able, we're, we're gonna be able to tell which one is which, um, and, uh, and we gotta be, be very proud in these late, last days that they won't give the credit to the devil when it is Yah, and again, we don't give credit to the Most High when it is actually Satan. So I just wanted to talk about that. So if you see this video, I want you to give it a thumbs up. I want you to like, and I want you to share. Be blessed.